There's so much room for activities. Door. Should have been Look at all this all floor space. So much aerobics in here. So many activities. Do step class. It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. Play army man. Yeah. Out here with Mike. We're gonna go fish for some panfish and multi-species league and then maybe a bass or two. We'll see how, see what Mike's feeling. I don't think Mike Mike knows how to do anything without having to catch the panfish. He he's not wired that way. He just wants bass, 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 which is no fault of his own because he's a hammer. Didn't want to have to break into the the wiggly stuff quite yet, but keep getting short struck. Oh, yeah. So I wonder. Yeah, good scoop. Good scoop. There we go. Boom. Whopper, whopper, dude. Yep. Dude, the plopper's so great. I just changed the hooks on this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, my God. Is it little? And it's in, in your line. Let's see. That's about as little as smallmouth get out here. That's actually impressive. Hey, maybe you'll make the team in like six years. Mm -hmm. Hey, getting bigger. There he is. Come on. There we go. fish, whatever it is. That's a good rock bass. Make sure it's eight inches. Yeah, scoping. Yeah, scoping rock bass. <laughs> Chasing it is like scaling that little bullshit. Yeah. I might have to rig up another one of those if that's all we can muster. <laughs> scoping rock bass. I can't believe it's scoping rock. <laughs> I'll take that was not on Mike's 2024 bingo, bingo card. Perfect. Toss her in. Got one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Told you, a little pipe. Nope. Should have Yep. I just saw you. I just saw you hook that. That's sweet. You didn't say anything. Swam towards me. Yeah, buddy. Right under the boat. Mm, Got to be eight inches. Don't know if that's gonna. Perch, perch are. Yeah. Seven. Told myself next fish I get water. Sounds like 90s football practice. How terrible that was. Waters for the week. <laughs> That's a really Giant big rock bass. Giant rock bass. <laughs> Giant rock bass. That might go bonus. That might go bonus even. 10 inches is bonus. That's kind of hovering in that nine inch, 10 inch. I think if you give her a squeeze, yep, 
I saw a touch. Yeah. Barf. Yeah. Fist bump and rock bass. We need to find those suspended ones again and hit them. Yeah, I see you got the single one you're going for. Yeah. One perch. Or eight inch perch. I saw it sitting all by itself out there. I'm like, that's definitely me. Yep. God. He keeps gilling me. I know he keeps gilling me. Oh, yeah. Eight inch. That might <laughs> popped off. Yeah. That's hilarious. Freaking dude, I'm seeing like 60 feet. <laughs> Can you say it's dialed? I spent a long time. I, I think it will. Yeah, yep, baby. it does. It does, right? Yep, just barely. Yeah, barely. Barely works though. There, I got him. Oh, good, whatever. Just a small mouth, and it might, 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 might make 12. That'll be close. That'll be close. That'll be very close. <laughs> Dude, life. Life scope and micro smileys. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to town. He's, People who give, who hate this, haven't yeah. done it. He's ouch, really close. Really. I close. think he, I think he gets 12. That looks 12 to me. Yeah, look at that. There it look is. Well, boom, put it in. Oh, that's a good crappie. Yeah. That is a really, really good crappie. I gotta watch my motor. Yep. There we go. It is. It is. Another maybe eight inch perch. Maybe. Dude, it was that's gonna go eight inches. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that was so it got bigger once it got out of the giant net. So hard to see that fish. So here's the jig head that I I like to stroll with. So this is a 16 ounce tungsten. Yeah. So what I would change about that is I would get that hook as high up in the body as I could. Barely go in along the spine and get all the weight up to the top so that it's sitting there doing this. Okay. It's off center or it's off balance. Even though it tracks perfectly, this one tracks perfectly straight. Right. So you, you, you oh. You want it when you're shaking it. So, oh. You want it to. So I should re rig this a little bit then. Okay, can you show me what you do then? Yeah. Learning moment, teaching moment right, here. So you want oh, with your stolen rigs, you go really shallow into the back. Yep. Really shallow, so that your eye is as high above center line as you can, and the jig will walk back and forth. And you shake. So you shake. Oh, I see what it's doing. Okay. Yeah. 
shake back in the middle. Shake it. Okay. Watch me get fit on this next cast. I'm throwing at nothing. I can't see nothing. There's no mark over there. Uh, not rigged up, no. Get this oh, that species! Absolutely! That's the one. And it just broke off. Yep. That's like a... <laughs> oh, Cole, we are killing it. Just, know. just barely 20. I, I, I think that's a good one. <laughs> I thought it was a good one, you know, or good enough. Dude! Can look at it. Loaded? Loaded. Loaded, just loaded. You should be on. You absolutely should be on. And do you know what it is? Be under yeah. 15. Be under 15. It's just absolutely loaded down there. It is be loaded. Be under 15. There's 15 of them. Be under 15. Be under 15. It's got every. <sighs> it is absolutely loaded with fish down there. Just loaded. Come on. This is so close to 15. It is under 15. Yeah! Oh, this is a good one, whatever it is. This might be a small mouth. It's pulling so hard. Mm-hmm. Him. Nope. Nope. That's that's fine. There's there's more where that came from. Don't have to. We're just throwing them all in this right hand one. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's a party in there. It is a complete jacuzzi party. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm there. You go. We are crush city in these things. Yeah. One more crappie. That's our crappie limit. I knew as soon as I saw that bunch of them that it was crappies. Oh, that one's really gold. Oh, he ate it good. I think I'm playing fish tonight. What a night, Cole. What a 
fucking night. I know. We are beating the fucking pants off of this thing tonight. <laughs> I'm not saying we're winning, but. Huh? I don't know. We're beating the pants off of it, dude. We got 60 points in just catching variety. Bottom right in this corner, mini time. Like this little section right Yep. Here. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Yeah! Go, 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 that, that is literally that's the buzzer. Insane. That's the buzzer beater. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Mike and I got the win, the W last night. It was a lot of fun going out and strolling uh, FFS, forward facing sonar, scoping, whatever you want to call it, for panfish. I mean, we, we did catch smallie and walleye too, but for the most part, we had mini micro strolling baits, kind of the same stuff you see the bass guys using, just in panfish size. So I figured I'd talk about the, the same bait in two different tiny variances that really, really worked it for us. So here's what Mike was throwing. This is a PC Fun Carbon X 1000 reel, four pound fins crappie braid. This is super easy and lightweight to throw. It is very strong, nice and abrasion resistance and super thin line diameter. Carbon X, excellent reel from PC Fun. This is on a Euro Tackle panfish rod. And then the jig head is a macula jig the line tie can be either 90 degree vertical or you can slide it for horizontal and this is a billy rub ball shad that's just barely hanging on here after a bunch of fish he's missing the, the tip for it and this is the white color i i throw this just about everywhere for panfish that combo the macula jig with the billy rub ball shad is a great combo but we were finding some fish that were really hugged the bottom and to be able to get down there and kind of get past some of those suspended smaller fish, I put on a Euro Tackle soft lock tungsten jig. The literally the same Billy Rub plastic. This is my number one panfish plastic that I've been using this year on uh, this sort of setup. This is a Della Bay ultra light rod. This is one of the lightest rods you'll ever pick up. Cold snap bands holding it on, no real seat. PC Fun Carbon X 1000 again. Same fins, four pound crappie braid. Uh, and what was really cool about doing the forward facing sonar is we weren't necessarily seeing the fish bite. We saw some of the suspended ones, but we were fishing a spot I have a lot of experience fishing, a lot of knowledge with, but we're now able to look at it more in depth in a way I've never seen before. We looked at why fish were holding there. We found some stuff that's a little further off the main part that I would fish. And so we were able to tootle around and pick off fish that I don't think normally we would have picked up uh, on if we didn't, if we weren't doing what we were doing. And boy, getting six species, that's the most species I've ever gotten in one night multi-species league. Mike and I really had a great time and got that win. Always fun to get in the boat with Mike. His new boat is sick. It is dialed. I can't wait to get out for more of those. It's Cole Karski Beef Outdoors. Thanks for everyone watching. Let me know what are your thoughts on forward facing sonar below. Uh, I know it's a big thing in the bass community. Um, and yeah, it's kind of the hot topic of fishing. So I'd love to know what you think. Comment down below. Tight lines, everyone. <laughs>